breaking news Nigerians. Confusion as Labour Party rejects presidential election petition court judgment. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party has rejected the judgment of the presidential election petition court upholding the declaration of Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as winner of the February 25th, 2023 election. The National Publicity Secretary of the party, Ubiora, made the party's position known in Abuja shortly after the court announced its decision. Obiara said the Labour Party watched with dismay and trepidation the dismissal of petitions by the five-man panel, five panel of the Presidential Election Petition Court, led by Justice Aruna. Today, and we reject the outcome of the judgment in its entirety because justice was not served and it did not reflect the law and the desire of the people. Nigerians were witnesses to the electoral robbery that took place on February 25, 2023, which was globally condemned, but the tribunal, in its wisdom, refused to accept the obvious. What is at stake is democracy, and we will not relent on the people until the people we prevail. We salute the darknesses of our team of lawyers who fearlessly expose the rot in our system. We can only weep for democracy in Nigeria, but we refuse to give up on Nigeria. Details of the party's position will be presented after consultation with our lawyers after the credited true copy of this. We urge all lovers of democracy to remain focused and hopeful because the new Nigeria is possible. In the rulings today, the Presidential Election Petition Court rendered its, its verdict dismissing the case filed by the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi, challenging the victory of Bola Tinubu. This exhaustive decision came after a five-hour marathon reading of the panel's ruling on a substantive case. Justice Aruna presided over this case and declared that it lacked essential material facts and was unmeritous. One significant aspect of this ruling was the rejection of 10 out of 13 witnesses who gave evidence on behalf of Peter Obi's petition. These witnesses were deemed incompetent as they were not front-loaded with the petition which contravened Section 285 of the Nigerian Constitution and Section 137 7 in brackets of the Electoral Act 2022. The law explicitly states that all evidence accompanying a petition must be filed within 21 days. Justice Arona emphasized that in accordance with Section 285 of the Nigerian Constitution, Section 137 of the Electoral Act 2022, and other relevant, other relevant uh, provisions, every witness statement on oath must be filed concurrently within the petition. He cited a Supreme uh, Court's authority to highlight that once the 21-day window for filing an election petition elapses, the content of the petition cannot be amended. Additionally, the court rejected forensic analysis reports presented by Three witnesses from the Labour Party, and these reports were deemed unacceptable as they were either generated during the case proceedings or authored by individuals with vested interest in the petition's outcome. 
the European Union's reports on the 25th February presidential election faced similar dismissal. The court found fault with the fact that the report was not tendered by an official of the body that authored and held custody of the document. The court also ruled against the admissibility of evidence presented by Mr. Obi's web engineer, Ogara, regarding a technical glitch observed on INEX Resort viewing portal during the election day. Justice Aruna reasoned that Ms. Ogara had an interest in the petition, having contested for elective office under the Labour Party. Ultimately, the case the court dis, dis, dispelled all objections raised by Obi and his party to disqualify Tinubu and Shetima and nullify their election. It affirmed that both Tinubu and Shetima were qualified to contest the election. So addressing the issue of INEX failure to upload the election results on IREF, Justice Aruna stated that it did not invalidate the election as both the Electoral Act and INEC regulations permit manual collection of results with electronic transmission being optional. So the courts cited previous court orders to underline that INEC cannot be compared to transmit election results electronically. Regarding the alleged 460,000 US dollars and, and Nacrotrix money forfeited by Tinubu in the U.S. in 1993. The tribunal clarified that the Illinois case was a civil forfeiture case, not a criminal one. Tinubu was not convicted. He was not sentenced. He was not arraigned or made to plead before the courts in the U.S. based on the evidence presented. So Justice Aruna also cleared that Ubi and his party failed to substantiate non-compliance with the Electoral Act by INEC in declaring Tinubu as a winner of the, 2020, of the 25th February election. So guys, <laughs> you've all heard that now. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.